So I'm just getting ready for a little trip away for my birthday to Mexico. I love going to the tropics for my birthday. It just, it fills me with happiness. I love the sunshine and it's really, really important to my life. I'm Alexandra Alenska and I've worked as a creative director and stylist for luxury brands, including Chanel Celine and Vanessa Bruno as well as magazines including Vogue and Harper's Bazaar. And I've been featured in international press, including Forbes, Elle, The Sunday Times, and The Independent. I now help directors and leaders in midlife and beyond to rebalance that work, 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 busy, busy, busy lifestyle you've become accustomed to because you know life's too short to stay in that career-driven comfort zone. I help you to redesign and restyle your life, especially at midlife with life-changing transitions, such as the breakup of relationship, divorce, menopause, or turning 40 and beyond. From your home and your wardrobe to your mind and social life, I help you with your stylish next chapter to step into your best life because I know you're ready to rock life again. When I'm packing for my carry-on for the aeroplane, I always take seem to have like a pile of stuff all over the bed. Do you know this feeling? Um, and I love to get loads of these like drawstring bags. They're ever so practical. This one's from Fragana. I think it's supposed to be for on voyage beauté, but in fact, I use it for cables. Actually, once I got stopped at the Eurostar Customs and they made me unpack all of my bags and they said, why do you have so many cables? Isn't that just modern life? So anyway, I put all my cables and anything like headphones, for example, I've got these silent ones. They're brilliant for aeroplanes because they've got the noise cancellation function. So that's fantastic because when you have the headphones on the aeroplane, I often can't hear the films and things. And isn't it a great moment on the plane when you've just got a moment to yourself with no Wi-Fi, even though I know some aeroplanes now have Wi-Fi. I don't like that. I just love to spend that time watching movies, relaxing, reading. Um, yeah, so anything with cables goes into the cable bag and that just helps me to keep things organised. Of course, the famous pouch with the pens and pencils in. You've always got customs forms, etc. to fill in, so I've always got that on board with me. Of course, my wallet, my passport, hairbrush, tissues, all of those practical things. A cashmere scarf because it's always freezing on the aeroplane, isn't it? So I love to have this to, to wrap up in. This is a, a Salon Setien one, and the cashmere they have is absolutely exquisite. And it's also really lightweight. So it's great not only for the aeroplane, but also um, when I arrive, uh, if the evenings get cooler or anything like that, I can just put this on and so it's multifunctional. This is an old APC suede bag, by the way. I've had it for years, absolutely love the color. And it's super practical because it just pops on top of my Bromobo so I can just wheel it around. Um, while I'm at the airport. After a trip to Shanghai where they were throwing a fantastic press dinner on my behalf, I arrived, I'd just been to Monaco, so I got the flight from Nice and all of my baggage went missing in Shanghai. So ever since my baggage went missing, I've always packed mini canvas bag with um, a slip dress in because you can't go wrong with a slip dress as far as I'm concerned. I just hang that up in the bathroom with the shower on full uh, when I arrive so that some of the creases fall out. Um, but in the tropical climates, you know, it's okay, the creases tend to fall out quite quickly because it's quite warm. Some knickers and a bikini because, gosh, I wouldn't want to find myself without a bikini on the first day of my holiday. Uh, what else have I got here? A sparkly handbag because, you know, some things I don't want to put in my main, in my main suitcase. So this way I'm, I'm prepared in case anything goes wrong, right? I can still enjoy the sunshine, wear my slip dress, so I'm not just stuck in what I arrived in. So when I arrived in Shanghai, I was wearing like a long sleeved, cotton dress, really comfortable, that I'd worn from the beach and then sort of gone straight to the flight. I had one of these scarves and then I just piled on all of my jewellery because that's all I had. Because I always travel with, of course, my jewellery in my hand luggage, I'm not going to check that in. Um, so that goes in a separate little pouch as well. And, um, and one thing I always love to do, actually I used to travel with a little brass dish in my jewellery pochette that I would put by the side of my bed wherever I arrived and it helped me to feel like, you know, like I was at home because it's the same ritual that I have of, you know, taking my everyday jewellery off at night time, my rings, you know, mental things and putting them on my bedside cabinet. Um, at home I have a little stone dish that I put them in and I have my travel brass dish. But unfortunately, when my jewellery got stolen um, recently from my Paris apartment, that also got stolen. So for the time being, I haven't replaced it. So wherever I go, I'm just trying to find like a suitable bowl and just I just put that by the bed. And it's just easy, I just put take my hair clips off, you know, any jewellery that I've been wearing that night, my smiley face pearls. Um, just keep it by the bed and it just keeps things together because otherwise I can have a bit of a panic though. 
I'm losing things. I like to feel in control and organized, especially when you're traveling a lot. Then I'll just put my um, my key things, like my pencil case, you know, my tissues, any books I might want to read on the plane, um, inside a bag, in a bag, um, if you like, so that this one can go up in the um, in the stove above my chair and uh, and then I can just have this down by my feet or by my chair so that um, so that I don't have to constantly keep going up there to get anything I need. This is an incredible piece that I got from a, a fantastic vintage seller called Nice that sells online. An absolutely fantastic vintage Margiela um, and it's one of my personal style superheroes. I don't know if you've watched my video on those. Um, they're part of my simple style system. It's those things that just elevate, that you have that just elevate any item in your wardrobe. Um, this one it happens to be super lightweight and flowing, so it just squishes up quite easily. I just pop that in my hand luggage again, just in case. Um, that way I've got lots of lovely ways of putting things together. This can go with a bikini, it can go with a slip dress, it can go with whatever I'm wearing and just elevate my outfits for whatever comes my way. Voila. Um, that's about it for, for my holiday packing for the weekend. I'm so excited to be going. Um, it's my first time in Mexico. I'll let you know how I get on. Lots of love.